Hello and welcome to the Artist Bootcamp for Beginners. My name is Trey, your workout partner. We have a lot to do, so let's go. Okay, so of course we start with B for the brush tool. Shapes are faded back. So let's get it going. I'm trying to be speedy, but also focusing on Cause in my normal life, I'm a, I'm one of those that does this and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't know. That's just, it's my personality. I just like marking down lines, I guess. Line economy is not my forte, but maybe it's one of yours. And to that, I respect it. But we're just trying to get into rhythm. Get our blood flowing, our mind humming with the possibilities of what we can create. What we can create. What we can create. Up with that shapes. 3D shapes, new layer, and now let's go. Let's keep keep it moving, keep it flowing, keep it flowing. The hardest part is just putting in the reps, putting in the reps. I got you. I hope you got your your program open and you're following or even just doing what you think would help you. I don't think this is for everyone. It's just how I thought it could help myself. And so I would help someone else. All right, I'm no expert. I'm no artistic master. I'm just some guy who likes to draw and who will never be satisfied with my current art. I always want to be better, always want to be better. And I believe this can get me there if I don't fall off. Don't fall off, just keep going. Keep going, Trey, keep going. So that's a warm up with shapes, 2D and 3D. Let's go to the next. Okay, so we have the head, but we're gonna start with the skull, the skull. This is Horatio, my model skull. Let's drop him back. If you need to take a picture, a screenshot of this for your, you know, if you wanna use this, feel free. One, two, three, okay. So we're gonna drop this back. V, four for 40%. Go to the new layer. B for the brush tool and Got this dome that you see that houses the cranium, which is your brain, and that's very important. We have the mandible coming down. The mandible is the chin and jaw. We have the eye sockets that houses our eyes our eyeballs, their circles attached to the brain and they help us to see, but you already knew that. There's a nose cavity. Your nose is cartilage. It's all soft, squishy, and malleable, but it's not. It's slightly rigid. And we have the 
side of the orbital, right, orbital bone, and this helps with being the side plane. You have the cheekbone that comes into the upper teeth, cheekbone coming into the upper teeth. Right, and this is the hinge where the muscles attach your mandible to your skull. The teeth is where the mouth would be. Side plane for the side. Right. And that is, your hairline would be somewhere up here. It varies from person to person. But your eyeballs would be somewhere around here. The bottom of your nose would be somewhere around here. And your ear would be between those. So somewhere about here. And that we have the basic skull version of the head. Look at one of the views we don't look at so often. And that would be three quarters at the back. Again, we have the large. We have our cranium. Big brain moves, big brain moves right here. Right, this is where your brain is housed. Your spine is carrying this, this large bit, right? Your jaw muscles will be attached. Coming down here. But we have your eyebrow ridge that comes out a bit, dips back in creating a shelf so that when the sunlight hits, you know, your eyes have some sort of protection. It comes out for the cheekbones, it comes in to the cheek, attaching to the upper teeth. Right? But you have your nose bit, you'd have lips, and your chin, but that's your head. between the nose and your eyes would be your ears somewhere back here. Sometimes they stick out, like mine stick out. In the back of the ear. But that's a, a view we don't really talk about. Or, you know, it's not as exciting as a front view or three quarters to the front. This is three quarters away. And that is Scully Skull. So here's my head facing forward. We start back from the top, facing forward, hit the V for the move tool, 40%. New layer. Hit the brush. So let's go over this. Once again, we have my cranium where all the important stuff is held. Continuing on, we have the mandible wrapped in muscle that connects my lower, lower jaw to my skull. Have my eye line, have my brow line, my hairline, nose line, mouth line. See a side plane coming around here, around the orbital bone and my cheekbone, and coming down towards the chin. Again, from the screen right, goes up, comes down and around my orbital bone, my cheekbone, and comes down to the chin. And that is my skull, All right. front plane, side plane, side plane. And my eye line and my nose line is my ear and the ear on my left side, screen right. Now from the skeleton, right, this is the, the eye socket. And that houses my circular eye. 
eyeball. Under all this skin, eye, eyelashes, I've got my eyelids. There's muscles connecting my eyeballs and they move my eyeballs around. There's the nasal cavity somewhere around here. And around the cheekbone, my teeth are connected. And this is the top. Upper teeth, mandible. All these muscles and bone underneath my head. Neck, of course, trapezius, deltoids, but you get the idea. We're not new to this, right? There's my lumpy head. <laughs> and that is the head. Let's move on to hands now. So we got a new set of hands. I kind of like that one. Let's take it. Okay, so here we have a humerus, my arm, forearm, hand in the fist position, but turn to the side. So that's what we see. The V4 for 40%. New layer. And do we see the construction? Hit the B for the brush tool. Let's put the construction line in green, a greenish. So we could make a whole box. We see, a, I see a box. And it's shallow. But here's the side plane, another plane. The top is here, the bottom is here. Let's fade this back. Because that was just the construction lines. So everything is a simple shape. Everything is a simple shape. Back to the brush tool. Let's put a dark magenta, purpley. And we'll do the actual. So my knuckles, there's all of these bones in my hand. Here's about wrist. There's a fat pad of my palm. My thumb. The nail for an identifier about the position of the hand. Everything can add to show the how it is in space. I got the folds because my fingers are folded in. This is my index. Here is my middle finger. I'm not sure exactly what finger this is. It's probably my, my ring finger. And probably the pinky can't be seen. Let's take a look. Mm, no, this is... I, I, I was fooled. So this is my in, index finger. This is my middle finger. Okay. So you were wrong, Trey. You were wrong. Eraser tool. All of this is mistakes will be made. And this is and actually right, right, something like this. And then my middle finger comes about here. 
But again, everybody's different. I have, some would say long fingers. Arm, going into the, or the wrist, going to the arm, my forearm, going into my arm proper. Moving on. Okay, so now we are at the anatomy and mannequin phase of our tour. Let's run this down. We've done this before. So here we go. Trapezius, this shoulder goes into a diamond shape. Trapezius, deltoid is a shoulder butt, shoulder button, a shoulder muscle, right? For the shoulder, clavicle, which goes into the arm. Tricep on the back of the arm. The brachialis is on the side and the bicep is on the front. So bicep, brachialis, and on the back is the tricep. So those are three muscles. The brachioradialis is here, coming from the lower humerus, coming down and inside the forearm. There are extensors and flexors. Right, extensors, flexors that help you move your fingers and hand, your hand all around. Pectra pectoralis, clavicle, sternum, we are wrapping up and into your humerus. We have external obliques. Let's call them the love handles. Right? <laughs> the latissimus dorsi is on the back side. I think these are the serratus anterior, but I'm, I can't quite be. Let's keep going. Rectus abdominis. Upper, lower. Upper three, belly button. Lower, tucking into the bottom of the pelvis. We have the gracilis, right? Inner thigh, adductor longus. Also, more inner to middle of your thigh, underneath gracilis. Sartorius, coming from the hip, wrapping inside inside and towards the, the knee. You have the rectus femoris, which is a large muscle in the middle of your thigh, right, covering the humerus. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, no, no, this is the humerus, this is the femur. Whew. The femur right, is underneath the rectus femoris, fastus lateralis. Is on the side of your thigh. You have the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. Anterior tibialis is right next to the patellar tendon. And this is your patellar, patella, I say, patella, which is your kneecap. Kneecap, patellar tendon coming down to your ankle. Next to that is the anterior tibialis. And then on the outside of your calf is the fibularis longus, also called the peroneus. Between the fibularis or peroneus and the anterior tibialis, at the lower is extensor digitorum longus. All right, we have all those muscles. Now, for the mannequin, let's go to our mannequin layer. This time we have some lady models, because I think I had too many male mannequins. And I thought, let's let's solve that issue. Because ladies exist. And so, here we have the lady. She has standing on her dominant leg. Right? This leg is coming out. It's not carrying her, her weight. A little bit, but not as much as this leg. And you can see this contrapposto, right? She, Hips at an angle, shoulders at a slight angle. And that causes drama. All right, she's ha she has attitude right here. I like this. So first, let's do simple shapes. So we have a, take the mannequin layer, drop it back by V, the number four. Uh, let's do, yeah, 60. V6 for 60% opacity. 
and go to a new, a new layer, B for the brush tool, and we shall first, ooh, let's take that down. Actually, let's hard round pressure size. There we go. So the circle, that'll simulate the cranium part of your skull. And you can extend that down to include the mandible, just like we learned with the skull. Right? She's looking forward facing, so there's an indication line. Halfway, eyes. Just above that is your brow ridge. The nose is about right where that circle is for the cranium. That's about there. But it's what halfway between your eyes and your chin. And then halfway between your nose and your chin is your mouth. Side plane. Doesn't have to be exact, just to get an idea that this is, there's a front side, there's a side and a back. She has a neck. For ladies, let's do more of the egg shape. Right, for men, because we're broader of shoulder, you can do a box. So I do mostly a box most times. But for ladies, because they're slight, more slight than the men, usually do an egg shape. Right, and the spine would come that S curve, if you can feel it. Just the slight shoulders so her hips you can see that till very pronounced and there's a slight side plane because she her body's facing slightly this way so you can see some of the side of the box so there's that also means you can see some of the top of the box. All right, because if we're looking at her, we're look up slightly higher, looking slightly down on upon the hip. And so circles for joints, circles for joints, joints, wrist, knees, ankles. And now cylinders for limbs. Cylinder, cylinder, cylinders. Cylinder, cylinder, cylinders. All right, we don't have to be perfect, just get it out there. Remember, we can always shift things and correct things later. We just want the overall, the overall shape. This one has dainty feet. And she has hands, of course. Hands on the hip. So let's look at this. Right, we got the attitude, more or less. Rib cage indication test. Okay, so let's do the muscles. That off, new layer. All right, muscular muscles. Let's do more of a. Women have the same muscles as men. They're just slighter of form. So we have the trapezius. Right? It would be a, tra a, tra a diamond, I'm sorry. If we could see all of it from the back side. Right? It goes like that. But we can't see all that because this is the front side. But just know that it's there. We have the deltoid. Coming up. Deltoid. 
territory. We have the pectoralis now. She, of being a lady, has boobs, or breasts, I'm sorry. And, but the connections are the same. Pectoralis underneath, right? See through the form. See through the form. Clavicle, sternum, and the breast sit on top. On top. And every lady's different, but this is just the general pectorals, muscles, breast on top. So for the arm, we have the bicep, brachialis, and the tricep. Bicep, brachialis, and tri tricep. We have the rectus abdominis. Right. Three up top, approximately belly button. And the lower goes and inserts into the pubic bone. So we have the external obliques. Ladies never get love handles, right? Never. Of course they do. They like donuts just like I do. So we have the brachial radialis. It comes down and comes towards the inside. And we have extensors and flexors. A right? bunch of muscles, right? Small, tiny that control our fingers, hands, fingers, movements. So again, brachioradialis, brachioradialis, extensors and flexors coming down. There's also the radius and ulna, two bones that can shift and move within your, your forearm. So for the thigh, we have the gracilis on the inside. The gracilis. Right, you can kind of see, is that slight? Gracilis. The adductor longus. Adductor longus. And the sartorius from the hip coming down and wrapping to the inside of the thigh. Right down and inside. And again, from the hip, hip bone, your pelvis. And it comes down and wraps into, down, inside, wraps. We have the rectus femoris in the middle of your, right, your femur is about here, comes down. So rectus femoris. There's also a, uh, well, there's a vastus lateralis on the side, outside. There's also a vastus medialis, which I think is on the inside. Let's continue on. We have the patella about here and attached to the patella, which is your kneecap, kneecap, is the patellar tendon coming down, towards the inside, down, towards the inside. We have the gastronemius, it's your calf muscle, mostly seen from the inside of the thigh, of the lower leg. Now, of, next to the uh, patellar tendon is the anterior tibialis. Anterior tibialis. And on the outside, that, on the outside of the 
lower leg is the fibularis longus, also called the peroneus. And between the peroneus and the anterior tibialis, near the bottom is the extensor digitorum longus. The fibularis longus and the extensor digitorum longus. And those are muscles so let's move on to statuary thank you mannequin thank you okay so today we have all new set of statues so this is ganymede and zeus and zeus has transformed zeus is a greek god right for the romans i think it's saturn this is zeus zeus ganymede and Zeus is kind of a pervert. So we won't go into the dynamics of this relationship, but all we will say though, Zeus has a lot of inappropriate relationships. That's all I'll say. Here's Zeus and Ganymede. Also a Zeus and Ganymede. Also Zeus and Ganymede. So again, we have different artists doing the same subject matter. Right. Zeus Ganymede. I don't know why this dog is here. It probably has some kind of significance, but and the hat. I don't know why they all oh, have the hat. But art is always interesting in that you can get three different artists who can have three interpretations of the same subject matter. Always interesting. Which one we shall do, I'm not sure. This one, look at that. This contrapposto here, right? His hips, dominant leg, a relaxed leg, hip tilt, shoulder tilt. Look at that. That is dramatic right here. All right, they both choo, choo. And it creates not just a standing pose, right? So this is fairly boring. This is very analytical. Can I say that right? Analytical, cleanly, neat, kind of boring. Right here, if you want drama, he's looking at Zeus in eagle form. Read the story if you want. Uh, no, actually don't. Don't do that. Just, I kind of like this one because it has Right, we can map out the muscles pretty clean on this guy. So Ganymede, he is right hip tilt, dominant leg, hip tilt, relaxed leg, shoulders slight, but not too much. And there's a sort of whoosh, you see that? So if you ever want some more impact in just a standing figure, right? Give them a little bit, right? Don't make it straight up kind of stiff. Right? This is good if you're planning a character, but this is good if you want this character to have some drama. But let's get into it. V, 50% opacity, or V5. New layer, okay. So B for the brush tool. Let's change this to a orangey color. Oh, we'll do a, a light green. So this is the shapes, right? And again, for men, do you see this box here? We're broader than ladies. Right? And this is an indicator of work. His body is facing, his hips, hips. And there's some slight side plane, just slightly. So his hips are slightly turned, but his body looks like it's straight on. Maybe there's some slight indication of it. 
So, for the head, the cranium, the circle for the major bits, the oval as it comes to the chin, head direction, he's looking this way, the side plane, around the oral bone, the cheekbone, coming towards the chin. We have the eye line. We have the nose line between the eyes and the chin, approximately. And we have the mouth line between the nose and the chin. And the ear would be between the eye line and the nose line. So somewhere about here. His chin comes down, his brow ridge. All right, we'll wrap this in space. Hairline. He's got a neck. Mostly it'd just be the spine. Right. The spine going through the body and curving slightly as it hooks into the pelvis. Pelvis would be something like that. But this is just simple shapes. So, for the joints, we make circles, shoulders, elbows. See through it, I'm thinking it's somewhere around here because it doesn't look it straight down. So see through the figure we have the wrist, I'm not sure, so we'll just continue on. Knees, knees, ankle, ankle. Cylinders for cylinders for the arm shape, more well, basic limb shape. For arm, not sure. Le upper leg or the thigh and lower leg. This is going backwards in space. Right. So it's going in and then slightly back. Feet. Feet. Again, leg. Feet. Okay, let's turn it off. This is big. Oh, got his hands. He's got hands. Or a hand that we can see. All right, turn that off. New layer. Let's do some muscles. And this time, let's do yellow. Orange yellow. Okay, so we have the trapezius. Again, it would be along the back, but we can see it upon his upper right, shoulder. Shoulder, deltoid. Deltoid. We have the bicep. Brachialis, tricep on the back. We have the brachioradialis coming towards the inside. We have extensors and flexors helping us move the finger, the hand and the fingers. We have the pectoralis coming from the humerus bone. It's not funny when you hit it, but that's how I learned how to remember humerus bone because the funny bone is down on the lower end. And when you, yeah, you know. So, <laughs> pectoralis wrapping 
sternum, clavicle, clavicle, there's that little divot here, pectoralis, wrapping and coming to the arm. We have clearly defined rectus abdominis, you see that? Rectus abdominis. All right, there's the part that you you know know, but this is right over on top of right, right on top of the rib cage. So there's these two, and then the others, your belly button, and the lower going into your pelvic bone. You have the external obliques. External obliques. All right, the latissimus dorsi would be on the, the back slash side. All right. What else? Again, I think the serratus anterior is like these muscles. But let me check that. We have the gracilis. You see that? I'm thinking that's gracilis. The adductor longus underneath that with the sartorius coming from the hip, coming down and inside, down and inside of the thigh towards the knee. All right, gracilis, adductor longus from the hip, and sartorius. The Sartorius. We have the patella. Patella, patella. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Don't forget the rectus femoris. He's right here, bro. Rectus femoris. And the vastus lateralis is on the outside. Vastus lateralist. We also have from the patella, patella, the patellar tendon coming towards the ankle. Ankle. Right. So the femur, there's a fibula, tibula, or well, fibula. Tibula, I think, is on that side. And we have the gastrocnemius, the calf. Calf. Also, anterior tibialis on the outside, next to the patellar tendon. Coming down. Coming down. And then on the outside of that is the fibularis longus. Fibularis longus. And the extensor digitorum longus is between the fibularis longus, peroneus, and the interior tibialis. Right? Interior tibialis, fibularis longus, and the extensor digitorum is between those. And that is Ganymede. And that's right, these are his muscles. All right. Now let's move on. So, artists of all types, we're doing something new today. We're stacking on top. So we just did the 
anatomy and the sculpture, but now we're going to do something a little different. Disclaimer, let's say, this is going to be figure drawing, and figure drawing is... Uh, I'm going to try to keep it PG or at least PG-13, right? So nudity is a thing in figure drawing and learning to do figure drawing, but we'll try to keep it as PG as I can. So for the artist boot camp, I have a boot artist boot camp file and on that I have different websites. So for example, this is fineart.sk fineart.sk and this is where I can I can look at anatomy. I'm not going to go into individual ones because there might be nudity but if you would like to check out this site I find it as a good one. There is quick poses quickposes.com another good site and this one has where you can start a timer and we'd be working for one of from one of these. But you can set, you know, 30 seconds, 45, 60, 90, 120, 180, and 300 seconds as a timer. And it'll go through a set that you can do gestures from, you can do life drawing from, studying purposes. Let's keep moving. We have line of action. And this is one we'll be using most often during this week. But I'm showing you some alternatives. So this is line of action, lineofaction.com. And again, it'll go through, right? What do you want to draw? All models, only nude models, only covered models, all genders, only females, only males, only non-binary, ages from babies, child, teens, and adults. And then you can set what what is the session? Is it all the same length or class mode? Classes warm you up with quick gesture drawings and then ease you into longer poses, and that's pretty cool. They include built-in break times. And what is the time interval? 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, right? This is a great resource. And because we can do covered, only covered models, we'll try to keep it PG-13 at the very, <laughs> the very you know, try to keep it modest. So we'll be doing this one, but there's also, now this one is not secure, but it's reference.sketchdaily.net. And it also has where you can do full body and you can set gender, clothing, poses, view, right? So you can modify what what you're trying to learn and how fast the timer is on these models. So, and there's also, you know, the basic internet like Google, Google searches for a photo reference, human figures, you know, but I'm sure you know the internet better than I do because I'm an old man. And also Pinterest is a great, a great place to find images to draw from. So I'm going to do gender, all clothing. Let's do clothe. Uh, we won't inc <laughs> include not safe for work images. Pose. Uh, let's do stationary today. View. Let's see what that says. Um, we'll just leave it as all. Mm -hmm. Now we'll set this to two minutes because I have some explaining to do. When we get this, we have to get, you know, stuff set up and whatnot. So we'll do two, two minutes and we'll do three. We'll start this and see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to pause this. So we'll put that off to my right, my right, screen right. I have my Photoshop file. Right. We'll slide this on over. 
And we'll make this a little bit smaller. And I have made a new gesture group figure drawing. And I have a, a new layer. So I can go to the brush tool. Increase that. So this is what we're going to do. So first, we're going to do three no, figure drawings every day. We're stacking on top of what we did before. So we're going to do a gesture of the figure. And then we're going to do the quick anatomy on top of that gesture. And then we'll move on to the next. And I encourage you, you can do this as many times, however long you want, but this is a great resource. And I say, use it. You know, the internet is a great place to learn from. So let us do some drawings. Okay, so what do we see? We see this, we see this. Well, okay, I'm telling you what I see, right? I see that, I see this, and this is, you know, his dominant leg, a more relaxed leg. Now, I don't mind if you do stick figures, right? You could do a, a this, this, Right. Just get the idea down. All right, that's if this is what you can do, this is what you can do. Don't worry about it. We're trying to get better. And so what do let's just start off with a circle just to get an, an idea where the head is. And then you can also do the a line to indicate what do you think is happening. Right? It looks like it's shifting this way. And this is what I see. It's what I see. Now you could do the basic shapes. Got the the hip, there's a tilt. Shoulder, hips, hips. And then we can do the circles for joints, circles. You see through it, circles, circles. We're not going for exact. Just try to see through things. Right? As artists, we try to see through things. Through clothing, through muscle and bone, to get ideas. Cylinders. So we're just stacking on top of what we've done in a different way to see art better. And for the head, we've got, he's looking off to his left, our screen right. Cranium. You see his ear, right? And now I'm just going all over the place. Well, eye line, nose line, mouth line. His ear. Where his hairline would be under the hat. And you can see the side plane because there's shadow. Right? This is why we 
we're drawing at including this these planes because he's lit his nose is, has a shadow his side of the head has a shadow so he's lit from this side we are all forms in space he's got a neck trapezius bicep tricep we can't see the brachialis but it's on that side we can't see it here rather because it's covered by this shirt we have the pectoralis pectoralis deltoid deltoid right the radio brachialis is on the other side but there's flexors and extensors going into the wrist, his fist. All right, if you can see lit, this is all right, this is in shadow, and that is where we can see a plane of the box. His hand is a box. Now I'm going way over the time, but we're doing this for learning purposes. And I encourage you to I encourage you to do as much as you wish. Right, we got the thigh. Can't exactly see it, but we know there's the gracilis. The adductor longus. That's correct, right? Yes. Sartorius. We're all over the place. We're swerving all over the road. But we're including all the things that we've learned so far. Right. We have the rectus abdominis, and that we can see. Right. Rectus abdominis. And the lower would be here. Rectus abdominis. Right. And we've done this before. Right. So don't be shy or afraid. Right. This, is, this is horrible, but we're learning. Trapezius. We're now putting all the things together that we learned in previous to get here. Now let's move on to the next one. Make a new layer. Turn that layer off. We're putting it all together. That's odd. We want to do it. We want to draw it. This is an odd one, but we'll take a stab at it. Basic basic underlying shapes so I have it off to the screen right and so what do we see so as a gesture you see head arms you got the body and the limbs and she's bent so let's try to draw that it's just a gesture we got the shoulders have the arms, hands, forearms, arms. Right. Her body is moving backwards, away from us in space. And then her legs are off to the side. She's now this is the dominant leg, it's flat. This one is slightly off, the heel is off the ground. So, if you see that, All right, and that could be the simplest of simple gestures, we can also fill it out because where is the rib cage? which is about here. Right. 
Where's her hips? That is some slight indication. That. And that. All right, her hips. Where's the top of her shoulder? The box. Oh, this is the top of the the egg shape. Right? And we're putting all of this together. This is deltoids. Right, we have her upper arm. Right? So we have the tricep on the back brachialis, the bicep. So just put it all together. Got the forearm, got the radio, the brach brachial radialis here. Her hand, well, her wrists, hands, and again, you can see a side plane. This is in shadow. Side plane is lit, so she's lit. Where is she lit? From here. If this is the light, light source. That's it. And sometimes it helps if you squint. Squint your eyes down and it'll make a complex human form into a simple, right? And so when you're painting, they say squint down and say, where is the darkest dark? Darkest darks about here. And where are your lightest lights? Lights, light, right? And sometimes that can help Figure out, you know, planes, where are your deepest shadows, where are your lightest lights. So we've got forearm, forearm, our elbow. She has a mask on, but we can draw through that because we can see her cranium. And her head is tilted down. Her thigh. They say Gracilis rectus femoris. Right. We know where these things are. Satorius right here. The patella, right. patella, patella tendon, come down, tendon. would have the, uh, the fibularis longus right, on the outside. The anterior tibialis, right next to the patellar tendon. All right, this is this is a new subject or a new uh, a new learning. Something a new set to add to our our workout, but we this is just building up upon what we've already done. So it's not too bad. We're just putting it all together. Putting it all together. Right. And that is the gestures. All right, we could add the muscles. All right, this is the rectus. Abdominus, right. see that? 
that where it comes down. Side. external obliques, pectoralis. There's ladies so we can't quite see the pectoralis, but somewhere around here. And the breasts sit on top. External obliques. Trapezius. Get that. Let's do one more layer. Let's see what we'll we'll find. That's a cool pose. Do we want to do this one? It is weird and interesting. Oh, let's do this one. Pause. Okay. So, look at this. This is. That's a cool pose. But what do we see as the gesture? I see this and then this. So, that, and I like that. There's this curve and then there's a straight. Curve, straight. Let's see if we can capture that. Right. Overall, it feels like swoosh and then swoosh. And that is the simplest of simple. <laughs> this is the simplest of simple line and line. But we feel it. Okay, so let's add on top of this. So we can start with her head or we can start with the rib cage. Let's start with the rib. The rib cage. Something like that. And then her hips. Right. Hips are like this. And then her limbs are coming off of these two things. From her rib cage, do the shoulder. Arms are slightly back going back further in her hands. And on the opposite side, right, this side, let's see her head about here. We're trying to see through the figure. Try to see through it. See through her arm to her head. See through her arm head to this. Right. So she has an arm on the far side. Comes up and over and her hands are doing this right, in this hand it looks like two f two or three fingers I like this and right. her forearm right this is the joint her deltoid But again, we're just building on top of what we've already learned. Let's see where her leg. It's going like this. We have the joint. 
And there's straight, straight. This is less straight. But it helps with this overall, overall shape. All right, so if we did straight, and the foot is like this. This leg, or a far leg, I can see that. But there's right, a slight curve, slight curve. And that's a basic, well, I did a basic, basic gesture, which was just almost two lines like that. Let me see. You can approach it so many different ways. Oh yeah, gesture. You can build basic forms on top of that gesture, and then you can develop it further with the muscles. All right, what exactly are the deltoid? Deltoid, the bicep, you know, brachialis, bicep, front of that, bicep, you know, brachioradialis, here. Rectus abdominis, you have rib cage. We have the end, what is it? Fibularis, fibularis longus, the patella. You can see it here. Can't quite see it here, but it's there. Tether tendon coming down. The gastrocnemius here, here on the inside of this. Right. So we can't see all the muscles, but you know, what we can see can help define the form. And this is what we'd be doing. We are adding to our set list, and this is our addition. This is the hamstring. Hammy's on the back. You look at that it's simple, simple shape for this foot. It's just like a, a wedge. We are complex and simple forms all at the same time. And that is awesome. And that is where I shall leave this today. But this is what we will be adding onto our set. All right. So that was the start of this new advanced week. Where we did shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, and figure drawing. We're putting all of this together, right? We have stacked enough, and we are now at the human figure. Tomorrow is the 20th, and we shall do the same as today. This is our set for the week. This is our set for the week. So we did it. Good workout. And I will see you on tomorrow's video.
So take care and keep drawing. Later.